At 260 pounds, here's what I was told to do to get fit. By the way, how do you like me in hair? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> insanity? That's the insanity. Let's stop it. Come, take a class with me. Fitness is for everyone, any age, any weight, any physical consideration. But first, give me a minute. Nobody should take a class until they understand these concepts. Form, resistance, control, extension, and the most important is modification. Form and resistance increase strength. Control ensures safety. Extension requires you to use the entire muscle to do the move. Modification allows you to always work within your fitness level. And there is nothing more important than that. When you work within your fitness level, you can increase it. I know it's a lot to remember, and it may be a little confusing in the beginning, but don't worry. You're going to be hearing it through the whole class. If you use these concepts and always work within your level, then you can increase it. It's time for class. Are you ready? Welcome to my new to fit class. There's a lot of different fitness levels in this class. You always need to work within your fitness level. We're gonna teach you how to modify, but we gotta start by marching. Everybody start with the right leg. March with me. March. That's nice. You're gonna use your arms for resistance always. Extension starts here. Form is always there. Control. Keep going, you're gonna march. Static stretching doesn't always warm up the muscles. Movement does. Oxygen and blood to the muscles is what we wanna do. The only way to get that is to move. Breathe, guys, you've always gotta be in oxygen. We're gonna start on four. It's four and three and two step touch right here. No arms, just step. It's wide and resisted. Keep going, keep doing it. Here's a useless move right here. This does nothing. There's no resistance. There's no extension. There's a lot of bopping, which doesn't do anything. Here's a long, controlled, resisted move. You've got to press out and squeeze in, always. Squeeze the beach ball in between your knees. Make sure you squeeze it. It's out, squeeze, step. Always breathing in oxygen. That's how you burn fat. We're going to count to four and we're gonna move two steps to the side. On four, squeeze it. It's three, slow and controlled. Two, tighter, two steps to the side, right here, it's out. Squeeze, keep moving. Colleen is gonna keep moving. You wanna make sure now, always, that there's a beach ball in between your knees. Squeezing right here, that's the resistance. Always resist the move. Luann is stepping out with the outer thigh and in with the inner thigh. It's important to make it work. Last two, both ways. Side, listen up, hold the step touch now. Hold it, you can stay in this movement or you can add another element, you can add the arms. You can reach up, press down. If the arms confuse you, don't do them. Colleen is doing the arms, I'm not. That's called modifying. You don't need to do the arms, but if you're gonna do them, lift and squeeze. It's lifting up. It's almost as if you're lifting the limb through mud, through thick air, through water. That's resistance, up and squeezing down. If you squeeze down, you use the muscles in the chest to do the movement. If you do this, you don't do anything. This is aerobic junk. You can make it real pretty, but you can make it efficient, and that's what we want to do here. Use your body to do the movement. Nancy is using a wide level, a long range of motion. She's fit, she has a strong upper body. She can shorten the range, just shorten it a little bit, Nancy, that's it, just lift it. That's shortening the range of motion. You can lift it six inches, you can lift it four inches, it's up to how strong your upper body is. Or you can take it out all together, same move. She's lifting and squeezing. The legs are resisting. The upper body is lifted. The abs are always tucked in to support the lower back. The way to regain abdominal strength is to hold it up. It's not to do two minutes of sit-ups at the end of the class. Hold your abs in, whether you feel it or not, you can begin to regain your abdominal strength. Keep modifying the arms, Nancy, that's nice. Okay, we're gonna get on the box. Anything we do on the box can be done on the floor. On four, we're gonna get on the box. It's four, squeeze the legs, lift the arms high, guys. Last two, two, 
Hear the move. Now right foot on the box. Step it up. It's up and down. There should be no noise. You don't need to bang up and down. That doesn't work the muscles. You need to press. Lift up, press down. It's a lift and press through the movement. Make sure that heel is first. Abs are always lifted to support the lower back, to increase the strength in the abdominal muscles. Always in oxygen. Look at Colleen's arms pumping through mud. You don't need the box. Luann is doing this without the box. She's marching in place. Same thing. Controlled, resisted, extended, perfect form. We're gonna add some arms. Increase the cardio a bit. Count it out on four. It's four in oxygen. Three, nice Luann. It's two, think about it guys. Now bicep curl, still resisted. It's up, press down. Here's a useless bicep curl. Don't do this and think about the grocery shopping or the kids or what you have to do today or tomorrow. Think about the movement, reach up, press down. As if you're reaching, two rubber bands on the floor. Pull them up, they pull you back down. That's called resistance. You gotta resist up, press down. Use the muscle to do the movement so you increase the strength in the muscle. It's four, think about it guys. Three, perfect form always. Two, hear it. Now reach the arm forward, remember extension, reach forward, pull back. You're grabbing the rope and pulling back. Watch this, reach forward, remember it's extension. Here's the same movement without the extension. It doesn't require you to go through the muscle, using the whole muscle to do the movement. Now, reach it, pull it back, extend all the way forward and all the way back. There are two parts to every movement. There's the reach forward and the pull back, the press up and the pull down, the curl up and the press down. Two parts, not one. Don't eliminate half the movement. Reach it forward and pull it back. The extended move is Ethel, reach the rope, now pull it back. Reach the rope, pull the rope back. Now make the rope tighter. A rubber band, that's it, right there. Use the muscles to press, to pull, that's real nice. Always in oxygen, guys. Breathing so you're burning fat. We need to increase the level of intensity now. We're taking the arms up on four. It's four, extend it. Three, abs are in. It's two, think about the movement. Arms go straight up, press the ceiling, up. Pull down, reach up. You're not just extending through the arms, you're extending through the whole body. Use the oblique muscles, use the abdominal muscles. Reach all the way up, the ceiling is a thousand pounds. Press it up, pull it down, press it up, or think about it as a window opening. You gotta open it, open it, but don't forget to close it. Open it up and close it. The extension is through the whole body. It's not just in the arms. Look at the shoulders, they're not here. They're relaxed, it's up. There is an enormous difference between tension and resistance. Here's tension. You don't want to be tense. It doesn't do anything except injure. It doesn't increase strength. You want to relax, but you want to resist the move. Up, press down. Remember, there's an up and there's a down. Everybody is working at a different level of intensity. Some people are on higher boxes than others. That's one way to modify your level of intensity. Another way is different arm movements. Some people, nobody. Some people are reaching forward. Right here, now bicep curl it, Barb, bicep curl it for me, nice. Barbara is decreasing her level of intensity, not by compromising the form. Her abs are in, her feet are perfect, her legs are soft, soft in the knees, but she's decreasing her level of intensity by using lower level of intensity arms. She can increase it at any time or decrease it. If she's fatigued, then she can drop the level. It's up to you. It's called modification. You can always work within your fitness level. Nice, Barb. Now she's reaching and pulling. She can take it up. Why don't you take it up now, Barb? Reach up. The minute she fatigues, she can take it back down. If you have to do it 100 times during the class, it's okay. That's how you build your fitness level. Keep going, guys. That's nice. That's nice. Reach it up all the way up. All right, guys, take the arms out of this movement on four, right here. Four, keep going. Three, think about what you're doing. It's two, right here. Now the arms go behind the back. Look at the chest, it's not down here. You lose all the upper abdominal strength when you do that. Reach up here, you've got to use this to increase the strength in it. Hold your body straight up as if somebody's pulling a string right through the center of your head. Now we got to switch the feet. Here's the cue, right here. Last four, listen to the move. Three, control it. It's two, right there. Now left foot taps, left foot leads. If you didn't get that, don't worry about it. 
You can switch whenever you're comfortable switching. The most important thing is that you do it properly. It's heel first, nice. Soft in the knees always, lift up through the quad and the gluteal muscles, abs are in, shoulders down. Now guys, keep going. Count four now, four, it's three, breathe. It's two, nice, arms lift to the side, delt muscles lift. Again, look at the lift up and the press down, reach up. Don't do this, it doesn't do anything. You've gotta increase the strength by using the muscles. Everybody keep going. This is form right here. Look at her, look at Luann. She's reaching up, pressing down, nice Ethel. Jill, make sure those arms reach up through mud, press down, reach up. Now think about it, four, keep breathing. Three, abs are always lifted, two, right there guys. Changing arms. Mary has hand weights in her hands. That's because she has an extremely high fitness level. Without the control, it could be dangerous and ineffective. All weights are, are added resistance. If you're not using the resistance that you have, don't add the weights. She can control it because she's strong and this increases her level of intensity. This new to fit class is not for beginners. New to fit is to teach people how to move correctly. Everybody should take a new to fit class. The fittest of the fit, the fattest of the fat and everything in between needs to do the movement correctly in order for it to change your body. That's what I want you to get from this class. I want your body to change. Do the movements correctly right here. Squeeze them out, press them in, always in oxygen. Relax and just breathe. Now, last four on this right here. Four, perfect movement through mud, through water, through thick air. Nice, last two, two. Now the arms press up. Right here, high level of intensity. Don't work beyond your fitness level. If your upper body is fatiguing, shake it out. You're not a weenie. If you do that, you're smart. You can pick it up at any point, but remember, it's all the way up and all the way down. If you do the movement correctly once, it can change your body. You can do this a thousand times and it will never change your body. Do it correctly once and build slowly. Reach up, press down. Oh look, they're actually sweating. Isn't that amazing on an exercise tape? And by the way, where are the celebrities? Is Cher here? Is anybody here that we know? Reach up guys, press down. Come on, reach and press. This is not an easy class. It's done correctly. If you want to make anything more difficult, Slow it down, control it more, require more form. It is 10 times more difficult than doing this. This doesn't do anything. You gotta slow it down, control it. Nice, now, four more, it's four. Think about the movement, three. Press it down, two. Now listen to this guys, hold the arms goalposts, hold them, hold them. Endurance strength, not here. This doesn't require strength, this is tension. Press the shoulders out and hold the arms up. Go, 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 hold them up for as long as you can. Hold the abs in, keep it lifted, keep going. Hold it up, Barb, that's nice, nice, Martha, up. Hold it up, the minute you can't do it anymore, it's okay to shake the arms out. Look at this, this is perfect modification. Shake it out, hold those abs in always, stay in oxygen, you look great sweating, keep going. Keep going, nice. At any point, you can pick it back up and hold it. It's not how long you do it for, it's how perfectly you do the movement. That's the only way to increase the strength in your upper body. Keep going. Now on four, we're gonna take these arms out because we're gonna increase our level of intensity by bringing in knee lifts. It's four, remember it's done with resistance. Slow, last two. Now arms go behind your back, take them out. Soft in the knees, always. No banging on four and three. We're gonna change it. It's two, hear the move guys. Right knee comes up now. Lifts alternate, lift up. If you're not comfortable with the knee lift, don't do it. You can step up and down. I'm not doing the knee lift. You can get off the box and march in place. But I'm still holding my abs in. My shoulders are still relaxed. The same thing applies in reverse. If this isn't tough enough for you, do this. Lift it all the way up and lift it through mud, stronger. High level of intensity or lower level of intensity, it doesn't matter. There is no difference between beginning, intermediate and advanced, except range of motion. Colleen's is long, resistance and level of intensity. 
There is no better or worse, and no special classes. Esther Lee is 71 years old. She's working in herself. 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 She's working this will immediately increase your heart rate. The way to increase the heart rate is not faster music and more choreography, which is what the aerobic industry has been teaching us. It's big, extended, full movements and slower with more control. This isn't easy right now. Keep going, guys. Reach up. Four more. It's four. Up. I'm going to add some movement to this. Reaching up. Last two. No arms, guys. Keep going. Knee lifts. Now, take it on the lateral right side. Lift. The traveling, the movement, the travel is optional. You don't have to do it. Here's the modification if you're not comfortable. Stay center. You don't have to do it. Here's another modification if you're not comfortable. Step up and down. You're still moving. You're still burning fat, and that's the point. It's not doing it brilliantly and keeping up with somebody who has a higher fitness level than you. It's working within yours. Lift it up high, guys. It's the movement that burns the fat. Stay in oxygen for 30 minutes or more. The definition of aerobic is any movement at all in oxygen for 30 minutes. Any movement in oxygen. How do you know you're in oxygen? When you're not sucking wind. If you're doing this, like most classes I've seen, you're not in oxygen, you are out of oxygen. In oxygen means you can breathe. In oxygen means you can finish a sentence. In oxygen means you're not blue in the face. Stay in oxygen. The point of modification, cardiovascular modification, is to always work within your cardio endurance level so that we build it. If this is where you are cardiovascularly, take it to here. And then next week it increases. Take it a little higher. Next week it increases. You go beyond your cardio level, you're not building anything. You're breaking it down. Build it. Count four. Four. We're going into another move. Tighter. It's two. Now you can add a leg press or a kick if you want. Look how high Colleen is kicking her leg. She's lifting that whole limb and what a long limb it is through mud. The whole limb. Here's the modification. Look at Luann. Pressing out, pushing back. She's not kicking through the knee. That's called correct form. The form, the form is so important. Come on, follow me, follow me. Jill is taking the kick out altogether because she's tired. Drop that little leg a little more. Keep that, that's nice. Take it out altogether, but the abs are still lifted. The control is still there. And whenever you're ready, you can lift that leg up. Never using the back because number one, it doesn't build strength. And number two, you're gonna hurt yourself. Don't use the back, use the abdominal muscles. You lift that limb through mud. Use the muscles to lift the limb. Nice, Jill, modify it. Bruce, it's a man in the room. Man in the room. Abs, hip flexors, soft knees always. Lift that limb through mud. Nice. That's real nice. Hold the abs in. Now we're going to bring it down from the kick back to the knees. Lift it up, guys. Back to those knee lifts. All the way up. Press down. That's it. If you want to add a higher level of intensity, just go ahead and add the arm up. If this isn't enough for you, add a plyometric move right there. Only if you're working at a high level of intensity and a strong fitness level. Look at the same move right here. Just a different level of intensity. Now, on four, last four, right here. Three, slow and controlled. Two, nice. Instead of the knees, just bring it down to a step. Step, other side. Step, arms up, guys. Step, single arms. Reach up. We're just bringing it down a little bit. We're gonna take it to the floor. And keep going, keep burning fat. Count four right now. It's four, slow. Three, hear the move. Two, tighter, now step up and down, right foot leads. Step up, press down, basic arms, nice. We're bringing it down, but we're still burning fat. Follow this movement, keep going, always in oxygen, always with the abs lifted, always the shoulders are relaxed. Use the muscles, extension. Extend up, pull down, form, always correct. Resistance through mud, through thick air. 
control, extension, form, resistance, and always modified within your fitness level. That's how you get fit. That's how you build a fitness level. Keep going. Last four, hear this move. Three, think about what you're doing. Two, now the arms are coming out of it. Keep stepping up and down. Chest is open. Think about the oxygen. You've got to think about breathing. There's no special way to breathe, just breathe. Think about filling your lungs up with oxygen and think about the oxygen pressing out of the lungs. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Oxygen feeds every cell and every muscle in your body. That's what exercise means, to oxygenate the body. It doesn't mean to get skinny thighs, that happens along the way. It means to get oxygen to every cell and every muscle in your body. Where do you think the energy comes from? Oxygen is your fuel. Think about what you're doing. Now guys, I'm gonna count four now. Last four, stay with me. It's three, think about the movement. Two, now left foot taps and left foot leads. If you didn't get it, don't worry about it. You can pick it up anytime. If you didn't get it, get off the bench. At any point, pick it up. It's not about keeping up with the choreography. It's about doing the movement correctly. Right here, guys, now hear this cue. Last four, we're gonna take it on the ground. Three. Luann's been on the ground, too. Listen to it. On the ground, step, touch, right side, out. Nice, if you didn't get it, when you do, it's okay. Remember, here is useless, right here. This is never gonna change your body. This is never gonna build strength. This is never, ever gonna do much of anything, but this will, squeeze. Out, long, you want a higher level of intensity. Go lower and longer, lower and longer. Advanced, intermediate, and beginning. There is no difference. Longer extension, go lower. Use more resistance and it'll make the movement harder. But you're no better than if you're fit. The fattest of the fat and the fittest of the fit need to be in the same room, all doing the movements correctly, all working in oxygen, all increasing strength and cardio endurance. Count out with me now. Last four, hear this move. Three, we're on the floor now. We gotta bring some arms in. Two steps to the side. Remember, you can step like this, or you can add another element. You can add the arms. Now guys, let's bring in some arms. They're up, pecs, out. Slow, we're gonna increase our level of intensity a little bit because we got off the box. Now Colleen is gonna take this to a very advanced level by going low and wide. Now, real wide, look at her extension. Look at her extension, Luann is right behind her, modifying for her fitness level. Isn't that what fitness is supposed to be about? Keep going, go, oh, why, oh I just hit you in the head. Really, uh, keep going, keep going. All right guys, now we're gonna add a heel. To the butt, right here. Heel up, there's a beach ball. Squeeze the beach ball now. You gotta squeeze the beach ball right there. Squeeze it, take the bump out. Take all the junk out. We're not dancing, we're resisting. Come on, squeeze. Now you want more resistance, squeeze the beach ball right in front, there. Squeeze it, look at the muscles, squeeze. Or just throw your arms around and don't do much. Nice, control it. Barbara, come with me, and look at Barbara. No arms, but she's still lifting up, squeezing nice and strong. If she wanted to add a level of intensity now, she could sit, use your legs, use your legs, use these muscles, not a bounce, come on, use them. Her upper body may be tired, your upper body may be tired, so take it out. Use something else, use those legs, squeeze them. You can take that out if it becomes too much. Keep going, keep going. Last two both ways, guys. Side, hear the move. Now single step touch now, hold, hold. Stay with me, stay with me, wide. It's four, hear the move. Three standing knee lift soon, two. Hear the move, heel presses forward. Look at my heel, press, press now. Don't bump, don't bang, see this? It doesn't do anything except hyperextend the knee and hurt the heel. But look at the press, look at this press. Look at Luann pressing, come on. Press through the quad, lift up, use the calves, lift and squeeze. It's as if I'm sitting on her shoulders. She's lifting me up and pressing me down, that's resistance. Arms are resisted, lower body is resisted, abs are lifted. Now listen to the move, guys, nice. Last four, it's three, control, control, control. Two, keep going. Now knee lifts up right now, up. Standing knee lifts, look at the balance in my body. Here's how you can modify if you're beginning. 
just lift a little bit. Just lift a little bit. Or don't lift at all. Heels can stay down right there. You don't have to do the knee lift, but look at those arms. Look how wide her range of motion is here. Now, last four. Hear the move. It's three. Come on, just do it right, guys. It's two. Tighter. Now the knees lift up. Everybody, knees up, unless you're modifying. My body is not going from side to side. There's no back being used. It's up. Look what I'm using. Reach from the waist down. I'm using the muscles to lift the limb. Now on four, we're going to lower the arms. Four but they're wide. Three, they're resisted. It's two, control. Now arms press under the legs, squeeze the ball. Hup. Squeeze them. There is no impact, the pounding down. It's a lift up and a press down. It's up. Look at Jenny, she stopped the knee lift all together. She's had it with this knee lift. Look what she's doing. She's moving. You know what she's doing? She's burning fat. That's all you have to do, but look how well she's moving. She's nice and controlled and resisted. That looks so good. Remember, you have to stay in oxygen. Nice and strong, relax your shoulders. Perfect, perfect. Bruce, what a knee lift on Bruce. Reach up. This control, in all due respect, Bruce, he wasn't very coordinated when he walked in the door, but what body awareness he's got now. Press. We love Bruce. Time to bring it down now. It's four, slow and controlled. Three, resisted always. Two, hear the move. Now step touch, side right here, out, out. Nice and wide, now slowly on four, three, two, take the arms out, just step, out, out. Slowly guys, slow. We're bringing down the level of intensity by taking out the arms, by not stepping quite as wide, still with perfect form. Your breathing should be coming down now. Now it's time to cool the muscles down, to help eliminate the lactic acid from the muscles, to bring your breathing down so your body can slowly, slowly cool down. It's four, slow, three, controlled. It's two, now the feet stay out and you're just gonna lift up. It's up and down. Here's what you see all the time. You see a side to side jogging in the knees. It's lifting up, you know why? Look at the muscles you're using as you press and lift. That's how you burn fuel. Use the large muscles in the legs to lift and press you. Slow and controlled. Here's the modification for this move. You don't have to lift, just slow, slow. The lower you go and the higher you lift, the higher the level of intensity. Anything in between is okay. The abs are always lifted real nice. Don't bounce it, slow. Shoulders are always pressed down and you're always in oxygen. Last four, slow and controlled. Three, it's a press and a lift. Two, no jogging, no bouncing. Add an arm press to this. Reach up, slow, it's up. Lift your body up again. See the form and the extension and the control never stops. We're using it all the time. Big movements, resisted movements, controlled movements. Not fast, not crazy, not throwing from the socket in the joints. It's always from the muscle, always extended through the muscle. That's nice. Reach up, look how nice this is. Slow and controlled. You want to make it harder, go lower. If you need to modify it, don't go as low. Now I'm going to count four, it's four. Slow. Three, it's time to stretch the muscles. Two, nice and controlled. Plant the feet, guys, and just the arms. They reach up, slow. Look where the lift is coming from, here. Look where the reach is coming from. Look at all these muscles that we're using. Reach, reach, or you can do this and not do anything. Reach, make the movements work. Make the movements change your body. Slow, controlled, extended, resisted movement, always. Now lift, hear this move, guys, on four. It's four, listen to it, three. Feel the difference when you extend one more inch. Now hold the left arm up, hold it, hold it. Now is the time to stretch the muscles when they're warm, very warm. What warms up the muscles is the movement. So we started with movement and now we end with stretching, lift it up. Look at this, Luann has gone down 10 dress sizes because she is moving correctly. Look at where she's stretching from all the way through, reaching up all the way up, nice. Abs are in, there is no arch in the back because that's not what it's about. It's about the lift up. Extend it, go one inch higher if you want. Shoulders always relaxed, now slowly take it to the side and hold it, take it to the side. It's a lift up and over, look at this, as opposed to this. Here's what I, everywhere I go, 
go, I see people doing this. What are they doing? They're hurting themselves and they're not changing their body. Look at this. Look at Bruce. Look at Bruce. Abs in, reaching all the way through. It's from here, lifting up, soft in the elbows always and stretch. Hold it. Hold the stretch for 20 seconds. Press through the muscles and hold it. Again, in oxygen, you have to get that fuel to the muscles. Oxygen, breathe. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more time, deep breath out, and on the exhale, lift your arms up using the oblique muscles to help lift the body up. Hold it up. Bring it up center, nice, hold. Hold there, look at the shoulders. They go from here to there because tension does not build muscle. Hold up. Now the arm presses slowly down through mud, through mud, through mud. Nice, opposite arm reaches up. Again, the extension is long. It's tall and it's all the way through the body. Reach up. Abs are in to support the lower back and to regain the strength in the lower abs. Whether you feel it or not, hold them in. Hold it up now, take it to the side, lean it over, press through the muscle. You are literally reaching and pressing through the whole body. Soft in the knees, extended through the whole body up. That's nice. Hold, hold there, nice Jill. Relax the shoulder. It should feel fabulous. It should feel wonderful. Lengthen, stretch the body. Hold there. Now on four guys, again, through mud, your whole body lifts. Now it lifts up, it lifts up. Don't lose the movement now. Press it down and back all the way. A long, long, long arm, nice. Both arms reach straight up all the way up look at the shoulders they go down let those shoulders drop use the abdominal strength do you see where the strength is coming from from the abs now guys arms are up take a deep breath in fill your lungs up with oxygen and press your arms down never losing the form never losing the resistance one more time deep breath in fill your lungs up with oxygen now blow it out slow nice and wide and controlled right on guys whoever said you couldn't do 35 minutes of aerobics Now it's time to strength train. If you have weights, pick them up. If you don't, that's okay. We're gonna be using resistance. Beginners, you can start with zero to three pounds. We're gonna be doing three sets of 10 of all the exercises. Intermediate, three to eight pounds. Advanced, eight and up. How do you know when it's time to increase the weights? The minute it gets too easy, go ahead and increase the weights. Let's start with bicep curls. Curl it up, press it down. This is two right here, two. Press it down, three. Three lifts, three presses all the way down. Four, get it up, guys. Press it down. You're still lifting through mud. It's still through quicksand, through thick air. Go. Lift it up. Now three more right here. Lift it up. Press it down again. Lift it and press it. Last one. Lifts up. Hold just a bit and press it down slow. Hold it. Why would we add strength training to the routine? Muscle metabolically is the most active tissue in the body. It's gonna help you burn fuel. Second set, guys, let's go. Curl it up, press it down all the way up. Make sure the range of motion is still good. Make sure it's resisted up. This is four right here, four curls up, four presses down, shoulders relaxed, lift it up, press it down. This is six right here, it curls up, it presses down, last three. Come on, pump it up, guys, press it down. Last two, lifts. And and last one lifts up, make sure it's controlled up and press down, hold it. If you increase the strength in that muscle, it's only gonna burn fuel. You need to do your cardio activity, you just did that. And now we've gotta build those muscles so that they help burn more fuel. Third set, let's go. Curl it up guys, press it down. Remember you're still lifting and pressing through quicksand, through mud, through thick air, go. Curl it up. Press it down, right here is four. Four lifts, four's gotta press down. Five lifts up, five presses down, six. Come on, lift it up, guys. Six presses, seven. Lift it up, only three more right now. Do the last three. Lift it all the way up, press it all the way down, last two. Lift all the way up, all the way down, last one. Lift and hold just for a second and curl it down slow. Hold it there, nice. From the bicep curl, lift it up, guys. Goal post for arms into the delt press, the military press. You're gonna reach up and you're gonna press down. Again, the reach is long. It's always resisted with or without weights. It's up. Right here is four. Press four up. You gotta bring four back down. Lift it up, guys. Press it down. Keep going. Reach up. Come on, right here. Lift it up. 
Press it down, three more. Lift it all the way up. Press it all the way down, the last two. Lift, don't lose that form, go. Last one, hold it for a minute and bring it down. Hold it all the way down, be careful with those weights and rest for just a couple of seconds. Now the second set, Barbara is using no weights. You don't need the weights, it's the same concept, resistance. Hold it up guys, together we'll do it. Hold it up right here. You're gonna lift all the way up and press all the way down. Keep going, reach up and press down. She is pressing up, she's pulling down. This is four right here, four presses. With or without weights, four still presses. Reach up now, go. Press it down, nice Barb. Reach it up and press it down, last four. Reach, press it all the way down. It extends high and it presses down low. Reach up. And the last one, come on, make it big, reach up and press down nice hold hold bring it down slowly always using the control and the extension and the form take a deep breath in you've got to send some oxygen to those muscles and blow it out get rid of it last set ready let's go hold it up last set reach all the way up use the center of the delt muscle to do this movement keep going this is three here's what you're using right here go four reaches four presses control it reach up you can modify this also don't worry about it if you can't do it do as many as you can do perfectly last four presses down last three presses down last two use the muscle to do the movement and last one hold it hold Hold those abs in, no back in this. Now press it down, slow control. Bring the weights down slowly. Hold it there. We've got the biceps, we've done the middle of the deltoid muscle, now it's time for triceps. Turn around, guys, let's go. Everybody turn around, elbow is up, nice and strong. Look how soft it is in the shoulder. The shoulder isn't here, it's here. And you're gonna press right through. You've gotta press through the tricep muscle. Press through. Right here, you're not leaning too far forward, the abs are in, always supporting the lower back. That's nice, press it out, reach it in slow, press it out, last three right here, it's three, press, lift it up, it's two, press, lift it up, last one, hold it out for a second, hold it, hold it, not locking through the elbow, and bring it in slow. Take a second, get some oxygen to the tricep muscles. If you increase the strength in your upper body, it only supports your cardio activity. It's a lot easier to do this 50 times when you have the muscular strength to do it. This all works together. Ready for the next set? Let's go. Elbows out, body's relaxed, abs are in, and press it out. Pull it in, this is two, press, right here, three, presses out, pull it in, four, press guys, it's a long range of motion, never locking the elbow, right here, press out, pull it in, four more, out, squeeze it in, right there guys, nice, last two, press, last one, make it the best, slow, 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 right there, squeeze it in and hold, stand it up, relax the back, take a deep breath in, that's nice. One more set we gotta do, you ready? Shoulders relax, oxygen, go. Press it out, pull it in. Remember there are two parts to every movement. Squeeze slow, press and squeeze. This is four, four presses, four squeezes in. Five, press, right here, six. Those abs are supporting the lower back, right here. Last three, press, squeeze it in, nice. Last two, squeeze it in, last one. Hold it for one second, hold and bring it down and relax. Nice tricep work, that was nice. Right from the triceps, we can go into the back row. Everybody, press your arms out, now pull them back up, using the back muscles, slowly. Think about the shoulder blades squeezing together, right here, three, squeezes up, it's controlled through mud. Squeeze it up, right here. You're on five, come on guys, reach it up, right here. Press down, four more, lift it up, press it down slow don't rock it slowly squeeze it right here right squeeze it keep going last two up last one hold it up hold it up make the back muscles do the work shoulders are relaxed and press it down lift it up we use our chest muscles a lot, picking up the grocery bags, holding the babies. What we don't use often and what isn't strong is our upper back. This is postural balance. I know that's a little complicated, but all it means is let's strengthen the part of our body that we don't pay much attention to and that isn't as strong as the front. So let's do it again, guys. Second set. Ready? Remember, you want to support the lower back with those abdominal muscles. There are different degrees of bending. You can go this far or you can just bend a little bit. Let's go. The first one, pull back, come on. 
two presses forward, two pulls back, three presses forward. Remember there are two parts, there's the press and there's the pull, this is five. Press and pull back, it's through mud always. Come on guys, right here. Press it forward, pull it back. Last two, press, pull it back slow, full range of motion, last one, go. Press, pull it back. Last set, three sets of 10 on everything. Come on, press it forward, pull it back. Strengthen your upper back. It will support everything you do in your daily life. Do it again, press and reach. This is four, press forward, pull back. Five's gotta press forward, but five's also gotta pull back. Six, press. Remember, it's a long, extended movement. Come on, guys, last three. Press it forward, control it, nice. Press it forward, pull it back. Last one, slow, 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 make it harder. Pull it back and control it, squeeze and hold. Nice, strengthen your back. You've done it. You've done your aerobic and burn fat. You've done your strength training and increased strength, which also burns fat. Now, go get your mat, your towel, carpet, get whatever you need and come with me. Go ahead and lie down, guys. We've cooled down our muscles. Now it's time to do one more thing. This is not metaphysics, this is sports psychology 101. We need to reconnect the mind with the body. When I was 260 pounds and changing my body, my mind was one of the most powerful tools I had. I had to learn how to get back in touch with my body because I disconnected. I didn't like the way I looked and I felt. This is an exercise. Do it with me. Everybody close your eyes. If you're not comfortable lying down, you can sit in a chair, it's the same thing. You sit. Be comfortable and close your eyes. I want all of you to think, literally think about your toes. Start at your toes. Always taking deep breaths in and deep out. Cut each toe and release the tension. From the toes, I want you to go to the ball of the feet and release the tension in the ball of the feet. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and go from the ball of the feet to the arch of the feet and let go. You just used your feet for an hour. This is the balance. From the arch of the feet, take it to the heels and release the tension in the heels. Think about the heels. From the heels, with a deep breath in and a deep breath out, take it to the ankles and especially right here. Release all the tension in the joints. You can see the relaxation is light. You can feel it as heat. Again, this is physiological. It's just reconnecting. Don't be afraid of this. From the ankles, I want you to take it up the leg. Think of the calf and the shin. Release the lower leg. This is the balance to the work you just did. From the calf and the shin, take it into the knees and especially right here. Circle the relaxation in the knees, releasing all the tension in the joints. Remember always, take a deep breath in. It's oxygen that's your energy and take a deep breath out. It's the lactic acid and the stress and the anxiety that comes out in the exhale. From the knees, take it into the thighs, the inner thigh, the outer thigh, the front and back of the thigh muscle. Just spend a second thinking about it and release it. From the thighs, I want you to think about the pelvis, the hips, the lower abs, the lower back, the front and back of the pelvic area. Literally circle, circle the relaxation around in the pelvis and release it. And as if my hands are around your waist, from the waist down, let your body go. Always taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Think about the abs and the spine, the front and the back of the body, and take it all the way up to the chest. And as if somebody's putting something right through the center of your chest, open your chest up. Take a deep breath in, the shoulders relax, and a deep breath out. See the lungs fill up with the inhale. Now slowly press the air out of the lungs on the exhale. From the chest and the shoulder blades, take it all the way up to the shoulders and from the shoulders let it fall out into the arms. Think about the biceps and the triceps. You just did a lot of work with the upper body. Think about it and release it. From the biceps and the triceps, slowly let it fall down into the elbow. And again, here in the joint, circle the relaxation in the joint and just let it go. From the elbows, take it down to the forearms, slowly, slowly, slowly to the wrists. From the wrist, take it into the hands. And from the hands, send it out to each fingertip, releasing each finger. Take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. Now is a perfect time to let all the stress and the anxiety and the tension 
See it leave your body. Let it ooze out of your body through your fingertips. Take a deep breath in. It's oxygen that is your energy. And take a deep breath out, releasing the stress and the anxiety from the fingertips back to the hands, from the hands to the wrists, from the wrists to the elbows, from the elbows back to the shoulders, all the way across the shoulders, and as if my hand is on the back of your neck, let it go. This is where a lot of us store our tension. Take a deep breath in, you've got to think about that area of the body, and then send the oxygen there, and then blow all the tension out with the exhale. That's nice breathing. A deep breath in again, guys. And a deep breath out and slowly from the back of the neck, you take it all the way up behind the head. Think about the back of the ears. Think about the back of the head, slowly, slowly, slowly covering. And then take it all the way to the top. And right here, as if an egg is cracking on the top of your head, literally let it just fall down the front of your face. Take a deep breath in, relax your forehead. Take a deep breath out and let it just drip slowly, slowly, covering your eyebrows, releasing the facial muscles. Think about your eyes, your nose, your cheekbones, your mouth. Let it go. You've got to think about it. Slowly, from your mouth, let it fall down your chin, your jaw, coating your throat, slowly, slowly coating the throat. Take a deep breath in. Remember, the oxygen is your energy. And a deep breath out. From the throat, let it cover your chest. Literally, let it just cover your chest. While you're relaxed, while you're focused, and after a good, strong workout, spend one minute creating a picture of exactly what you want from fitness. If it's lean you want your body to be, then see your body, not somebody else's, your body as lean as you want it to be. There are no unrealistic goals. If it's strength you want, then you have to feel. Think about your body, strong, upper body, abdominal, lower body. See the strength, feel the strength. Get as detailed as you can get with this picture. If it's more cardio endurance you want, then you have to feel your body with a bigger capacity, more oxygen, more energy. And if it's all three things you want, then see your body as lean, as strong, and as healthy as you want it. Understand one thing while you're focusing on this picture. If you eat high volume, low fat, high quality food, if you move, not just for the sake of movement, but the way you move today, using the strength, using the form, using the resistance, and if you use the consistency and the focus that you need, there is no way you will not reach your fitness goal. Take three deep, strong breaths in and out and see them as cleansing breaths. Just take the oxygen in and blow all the other junk out for one minute today. Release it. Take a deep breath in, everybody. Fill your body up with oxygen and take a deep breath out slowly and controlled. Look at the picture. Focus on that picture. Again, take a deep breath in. This is not metaphysical. This is simply getting back in touch with what you want from fitness, from wellness. Take three deep breaths in and deep breaths out and see them as cleansing breaths. While you're relaxing, focus on that picture. Exactly what you want from fitness. And understand one thing, you took one enormous step towards your goal today. Be well. At 260 pounds, here's what I was told to do to get fit. By the way, how do you like me in hair? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> insanity? That's the insanity. Let's stop it. Come, take a class with me. Fitness is for everyone, any age, any weight, any physical consideration. But first, give me a minute. Nobody should take a class until they understand these concepts. Form, resistance, control, extension, and the most important is modification. Form and resistance increase strength. Control ensures safety. Extension requires you to use the entire muscle to do the move. 
Modification allows you to always work within your fitness level. And there is nothing more important than that. When you work within your fitness level, you can increase it. I know it's a lot to remember, and it may be a little confusing in the beginning, but don't worry. You're going to be hearing it through the whole class. If you use these concepts and always work within your level, then you can increase it. It's time for class. Are you ready? Welcome to my new to fit class. There's a lot of different fitness levels in this class. You always need to work within your fitness level. We're going to teach you how to modify, but we got to start by marching. Everybody start with the right leg. March with me. March. That's nice. You're going to use your arms for resistance always. Extension starts here. Form is always there. Control. Keep going. You're going to march. Static stretching doesn't always warm up the muscles. Movement does. Oxygen and blood to the muscles is what we want to do. The only way to get that is to move. Breathe, guys. You've always got to be in oxygen. We're going to start on four. It's four and three and two. Step touch right here. No arms, just step. It's wide and resisted. Keep going. Keep doing it. Here's a useless move right here. This does nothing. There's no resistance.